Daddy Cook. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, remember me? <laughs> I'm Phil. I'm the dad from Daddy Cooks. Welcome to Daddy Cooks, y'all. All right. Uh, I apologize for being gone so long, but y'all, I'm on vacation and I got a lot of things I need to make up for. So expect the videos to start coming pretty quick uh, until I have to go back to where I have to go to work. All right, guys. Anyway, uh, there is going to be a surprise in this video. Let's see if you guys can figure out what it is. It's going to be a minor change. But uh, let's get straight to it. Uh, you guys saw the title. This is gonna be a squid marinara over pasta. So my uh, supporting cast is this right here. I have a bunch of Roma tomatoes here, already washed, okay? As a backup, if these aren't enough, I also have some uh, vine, ripe vine tomatoes. That's gonna be based of my marinara. I'm gonna use some fresh oregano. I'm gonna use some uh, dried basil because I <laughs> couldn't find any fresh. This is fresh thyme. I have a bunch of fresh uh, green onions, okay, scallions as they say. I have one Italian pepper, I'm gonna use half of that roughly, one green bell pepper, half of that roughly, and maybe four or five, maybe six cloves of garlic, but this is a whole head of garlic. Obviously I'm gonna season with fresh cracked black jack, black pepper, and some kosher salt. That's gonna make my marinara sauce the way I'm gonna do that. Uh, I've done before, but I'll show you a technique that I use, okay? Uh, the technique that I use is gonna be with uh, my blender, it's a Vitamix, very powerful. I can show you some alternatives, okay? And also, the piece de resistance is gonna be this squid. Now, the funny thing about this squid is, when I bought it in the packs, I got it from my Asian market, it said whole clean squid, but when I looked at it, it looked like just the tubes but after I actually opened it and washed them off, cleaned out the inside, the tentacles were on the inside. The tentacles, the tentacles, the tentacles. <laughs> they were on the inside of the tubes, uh, which is great, so I did get the whole squid. All right, guys, um, so this, those are all my ingredients. Let me do some prep work, uh, and then we will get the marinara together, then I'll do a little bit more prep work, and then we'll get the squid ready to go inside of the marinara sauce. Uh, I'll tell you a little uh, helpful hints when it comes to the squid once I get to that point. So let me get my prep done and I will be right back.
Hey guys, we are back. Do a scotch. Are you thirsty, Angus? <laughs> That's not a commercial, it just came to my mind. All right guys, let's talk about this marinara that you just saw me put together. Like I said earlier, I have a very powerful uh, vacuum clean, vacuum cleaner, very powerful <laughs> blender. <laughs> Got baby laughing at me. Uh, it's a Vitamix. So if yours is not as powerful, uh, here's some options for you. Um, you can peel your tomatoes, all right? Peel and seed if you would like to peel them, just score them lightly and then put them in some hot water for like 30 seconds and the, the peel will come right off. That way uh, your, uh, I'm about to say vacuum cleaner again, you, your uh, blender can break it down a little bit more easy. Uh, I also didn't break down a lot of other things because once again, mine is very, very powerful. Um, so that might help you out as far as making your sauce, okay? Where I'm at now is everything that you told me make. I have simmering here in my pot. Now, if you do this, it's gonna look odd to you initially. Um, let it continue to simmer and then it'll start melding down and blending down into what, a more traditional looking sauce, okay? So I'm gonna let this go. The next thing I'm gonna do is start cutting up my uh, squid, calamari, whatever you wanna call it and then I'm gonna incorporate that into my sauce. Now, here's the thing for you when it comes to calamari or squid. You have to cook it very quickly or very long, okay? Uh, the rule is, or what I've heard is, 45 seconds or 45 minutes, okay? If you miss that 45 second window, it's gonna to get tough, and it's gonna stay very tough and chewy, rubber band-like until you cook it long enough for it to get tender again. I'm not gonna shoot for that window. I am going to chop up my squid and I'm gonna let it simmer in my sauce for 45 minutes. So I don't have to worry about that. Just something helpful for you to understand. So let me get to my prep work on this squid and I will be right back. Hey guys, we are back. It's time for assembly. I will say this before I continue on. You guys saw my uh, surprise. All drone footage that you have seen was recorded before I started drinking because that's against FAA law to be drinking and flying. <laughs> that was pre-recorded. Anyway guys, uh, sauce is done. The pasta is done. Thanks to my camera woman, Octavia. I'm going to put this together very, very quickly and it goes a little something like this, put a little pasta for my youngest child, not too much, 
little pasta in a bowl, just like that, make it nice and fluffy and pretty. And I'm gonna give me a little bit of sauce. And while I'm saucing this, let me say, you guys didn't see this, but I did put two turns of uh, olive oil in this sauce. And I also put two tablespoons of a slurry of cornstarch and water so it can be nice and thick. Uh, so it'd come together as an actual sauce because everything was blended together. Anyway, that's how that looks, just like that. I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of green onion just to make it pretty. Do -do 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 -do. And I'm gonna throw in a couple basil flowers or basil leaves, just like that. And just like that. Booyah, there it is. Beautiful. Here you go, y'all. Nice and beautiful. You got that thing? Nice. All right, y'all. I'm going to reset and bring my youngest up here so she can take a taste test for you. And we will be right back. All right, y'all, that's the complete dish. Once again, this is a squid marinara over angel hair pasta. My, I, earlier I said my youngest, but my youngest and older is gonna come do a taste test. Come on over here, girls. I'm gonna stay on camera as I always do because I got the microphone. Give that a taste. Don't get a mouthful of those, my garnish of the, of the uh, oregano. But uh, give me a taste, tell me what you think. Make sure you get some pasta, some sauce, and some calamari or squid. Tender? Very tender. Flavor? Yes. Well, I know it has some. <laughs> Does it taste good? Tell, not, me what, tell me what it tastes like. It's not overpowering with salt. That's one of the things that people sometimes get over salty. Okay. It's like perfect when it comes to that. So. I don't know if they can hear you. Let me get over here. All right, not overpowering with salt. Um, the marinara is uh, definitely a very flavorful. It can get it out. Um, use fresh. I use fresh everything. That's from scratch. Oh, you made it from scratch? Yes, I did. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know the squid, it's not like, you know how some of it's too chewy and it's like you have to actually bite? Right. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think it's great. All I right. Didn't, I didn't get hardly any pasta. Okay. Is the, the pasta it's not too overcooked? Salty. It's no. just right. All right. It's You're good, Octavia. <laughs> but it's definitely all done, Kevin. Okay, yes. let me ask some questions. Sauce, not too salty. No. Uh, not too thick, not too thin, not too runny. No. no. Sticks to the pasta. Yes, yes it does. Okay. Um, oh, good flavor. Yeah. Excellent flavor. Not too much garlic. There's garlic in it. Oh. Wait, I wait, guess wait, not. No. <laughs> not too much. Wait, what? Uh, not too much salt. Not too much pepper. It's not over seasoned in any way, shape, or form. There I think you go. It's just right. Outstanding. Perfect, May I? Do you, of course. I'm gonna try it, y'all. Piece of my squid. Get me some marinara. And here we go. Mm. Pasta's perfect, I'll tell you. <laughs> the squid, very, very tender, not tough, not gummy. Remember what I said earlier about 45 seconds to 45 minutes? I did this in 45 minutes. Maybe a little bit over when I finished uh, the sauce up. Perfect. Good twang to the tomatoes. Not too sweet, not too bitter. This tastes like a regular, I don't wanna say store bought, a restaurant style, not trying to blow my own tune. It tastes like a restaurant style marinara, tomato sauce, spaghetti sauce, and you guys saw how I made it. The <laughs> she thought it came from a jar. But I know it did. I'm going to disown that one. <laughs> but anyway, the extra uh, chopped up onions on top does send it over the top. All together, I think it was fantastic. It Do, was over. Yes, please. Do over. Do yeah. over. My girls call me Daddy. And I cook. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
Mm-hmm. Shit, I got another drink. That's all right. No, it's not all right. <laughs> Sal? Camera? All right. Can't hit your mom, can Three, two, one. Hope I can find this footage to cut it off. <laughs> All right. <clears throat>